Hi, I'm Action Jacqueline, and welcome to the 21 Day Mind Over Matter Meditation Challenge, which if you haven't signed up yet, go do that right now, actionjacqueline.com slash meditate, 21 days, 21 videos, all free to you. So make sure you sign up and you'll be able to download your challenge guide immediately, which has all the days of meditations. You will also get a few other little goodies from me too. In this video, I'm going to share with you all the different ways that you can make this challenge as successful as possible for you. I'm going to go over what you can expect from this challenge, why I created it, why it makes it different from other types of meditations, mistakes to avoid, and how to actually use this meditation. Like, how, What's the process like? How you can go through it all. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet because that really helps support me in creating amazing free new challenges for you. Go ahead and do that now and like this video, comment below, let me know that you're in for the challenge. Let's get going with today's video. I first decided to make this challenge for you because meditation has had a profound impact on my life. It is what I attribute my success to, what I lean on in times of stress, it what gets me through every single day and allows me to grow into my absolute best self. And I used to struggle with really bad anxiety and panic attacks to the point where I didn't feel comfortable driving. I had a hard time even talking to people. It was a really dark time in my life. And that is when I was seeking. I was seeking answers, seeking to understand myself and what was going on in myself in life. And that is when I discovered, thankfully, meditation. And that's what really, truly brought me out of that dark time of my life. At first, I gotta tell you though, I didn't enjoy meditation and it didn't work for me. It felt like, what the heck am I doing here, sitting here in a room all by myself, just sitting quietly. I just felt like the negative thoughts were just getting louder and louder and louder. And it just was amplifying all the negativity in my life and it made me focus on the things I didn't want to focus on even more. I, I didn't understand it. I was like, why are people telling me to do this? I feel worse, honestly. <laughs> so I kept searching for the answer and finally I discovered a way of meditating called guided meditations. And that's what makes this challenge different is that they are guided meditations, meaning that it helps you guide your thoughts along, meaning that I'm gonna be speaking to you throughout the entire meditation, which takes your mind on a journey. It allows you to use your imagination. It allows you to think of things positively, right? It allows you to shift your focus. Once I discovered this, I was like, oh my gosh, I get it. Like I, now I see what everyone is talking about, meditations, and it really did change things for me because I realized that when I had these kinds of positive thoughts in my head through the meditations, I found myself recalling these positive ideas throughout the day, especially when there was a stressful situation and I would tell myself, I'm gonna be okay, I'm gonna be okay, and I, and I recalled certain phrases or sentences that I had heard in my meditation. And so I realized that even if I wasn't meditating, these moments and these thoughts that were coming to me in, through the meditation were offering me support throughout my day and especially in those times of stress. And so that is where it can be so powerful and it'll literally change your thought pattern and it's gonna change the way you think. And if you change the way you think, it'll change the way you feel and it'll change the way you live your life and what you do in your actions. That is why I created this meditation challenge and as you can probably see, I am just so excited because I've never given a meditation challenge before. I've done stretching, I've done yoga, I've I've done bar, I've done Pilates, I've done all the things you can do with your body and now it's time for us to focus on our minds and it is so exciting because it is the most valuable asset that you own and I really want to drive that home for you. Your mind. Your mind is the most valuable asset that you own. It doesn't matter what you have tangibly outside of your life. It doesn't matter if you feel like you don't have the things you want, the boyfriend you want, the the car you want, the house you want, you have your imagination, you have your mind, and with your mind, you can create anything. And if you can see it in your mind, you will be able to create it in your life. And that is how it happens. So just remember that, that, that is so incredibly valuable and do not diminish the power of your mind. Now let's get into how this challenge works. I recommend going through the challenge as I've laid it out from start to finish. So there's 21 days and there's 21 videos. 
The overarching goal of this challenge is to build self-esteem and then every day we're gonna have another focus. It'll build one on top of the other, so that's why I recommend starting from the beginning and go to the end. If you find a meditation that really speaks to you, then yes, I would say keep repeating that. But first, do all 21 days, and then after the 21 days, you can go back and pick your favorites and put that in your daily routine. Now, when to meditate? I recommend either three different times. Right when you wake up to set the tone of your day, right after a workout, or 30 minutes before bed. And now the reason for these three times is because it's been scientifically proven that these are the three best times that that your brain is suggestible, meaning that your brain will actually be able to take in information and change will happen faster during those times. So I recommend picking one of those three times for yourself and picking it to be the same time every day. So look at your calendar now and just decide, put it in, because if it doesn't go in your calendar, you know that it doesn't happen, right? So put that in there right now as your me time, I like to call it, and you'll just be able to keep yourself accountable so you can stick to it every single day and really build up that habit for yourself. And now let's talk about how to do the meditation. I personally tend to fall asleep very easily. Laying down, I usually fall asleep. It's okay if that happens to you, it's still a positive experience. However, if you're that type of person, I would recommend either sitting up just like how I am or get into like a, a seated couch where you can kind of lean back and relax to someplace where you can really relax. And also, if you are one of those people who fall asleep, I recommend also setting a timer or an alarm so that it'll wake you up just in case if you have to go somewhere after, right? You have a meeting to get to, like just make sure you have that backup for yourself. Do not listen to these meditations when you're driving or operating machinery or anything like that. It's meant to do solely just that by itself, not doing anything else at all. Each day you'll be getting an email from me, so make sure that you are checking your email. It's gonna be coming from jack at actionjackin.com. You'll be getting an email with the link to your video every day at 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. If that time doesn't work for you, then I recommend downloading my Stretchy Fit app. I'll put the link here, stretchyfitapp.com, where you'll actually be able to get access to all of the videos ahead of time and you can download them, you can actually listen to them without Wi-Fi, and you can just binge all of them if you want to because you'll get all of them all at once. So you can download that today, stretchyfitapp.com. What can you expect from this challenge? So I love researching and understanding the science behind health. So here are all the results, they're very exciting. 87% of all adults who meditate experience improved health. 92% of them experience less anxiety in their life. 84% of them experience boosted confidence. That's pretty motivating. I love seeing that because it means that it really works. Not only that, it's gonna feel like you're coming out of a spa because your whole body is gonna be completely relaxed. We're gonna be downregulating your nervous system, which will help your body get into that healing state, right? That's where you need to be so that your body can heal, repair itself. Your body's gonna feel tingly all over. It just feels so good. Feel positive, energized for your day. Mistakes to avoid. Number one, I only have two. Number one is thinking that your mind needs to be clear. So I hear this all the time. People say, I tried meditating, but I just kept thinking about my work. I just kept thinking about my kids. I just kept thinking about my relationship. And it's like, I wasn't even focused on the meditation. I didn't even hear anything. Like nothing happened, blah, blah, blah. That is totally normal, especially when you're first starting out. But that doesn't mean that you should give up. I would highly recommend to just keep going because the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Your mind does not need to be clear. Your thoughts are gonna always be with you. You're never really ever gonna be able to get rid of them, right? It's just like how you're breathing or how your digestive tract is going. You're never gonna get rid of them. And so that's an unrealistic expectation. It's more of the practice of becoming aware of your thoughts and also learning how to detach from them. I highly recommend that if you've tried it before, and you say, ah, oh, it didn't really work for me, definitely try these ones again. Mistake number two is expecting results immediately, okay? You will feel really good right after, right? You're gonna feel relaxed, you're gonna feel happy, you're gonna feel uh, in a better mood, but then you're thinking, well, how come I still have a crappy job or how come I still have this bad relationship? Like, you're not getting the things that you want in your life, so you feel like it's not working. 
but it does just take time. Your brain is like a muscle, and so we're gonna be focusing on the positive and the good, and this focus is going to bring more of the positive and more of the good. Give it more time, trust, and allow that journey to unfold as it's meant to. Okay, so that is everything. Wait, one last thing, one last thing that I've never done on a challenge before is I'm going to be giving you a certificate of completion when you complete this challenge. And it's such a cool thing to be able to print out, to have as a record, and to remind yourself of all the hard work that you've put into it. So this is going to be on an honor system, you know, making sure that you go through the whole challenge. I ask that you like every video, that you subscribe to my channel, and that you also check in with me on Instagram using the hashtag mindovermatter. That is one of my most favorite things to do is to go on my Instagram, go straight to my DMs and see the mentions and see your check-in. And if you're someone like me who likes helping people, then send this free challenge to three of your friends and let's evolve and elevate our community together. All right, guys, I can't wait to start together. It's gonna be so fun. Check your inbox for your first meditation and I'll see you very soon. Sending you all my love and light. Bye.